Hi everyone, so today I'm going to plant up a portion of one of the flower beds that we have. Um, I've been looking for something else to go in there while I decide, so I decided to plant some annuals in here and um, I'll link a video of a plant haul where where I go to get my hair done. Um, they have this nursery and garden center that someone was telling me about and so they had some very beautiful annuals i know that i've already planted um and perennials i mean they just had beautiful flowers but i know that i picked up some bee balm and and um the cone flower and i have that in the actual vegetable garden so today in the um flower bed what we're going to plant is the Supertunia Vista Bubblegum. We have some lemon coral um, sedum and we have the Supertunia Vista Paradise. And what I'm also going to do, I had planted the Supertunia Bordeaux in one of the pots that I have my daylily in and it was on the front and I'm just not liking it right there. So I'm going to pull that out the pot and also plant them in the ground. Um, let me show you real quick um the super tunia bordeaux and i hope this all works um in my mind how i want it to look so let me go and show you the super tunia bordeaux and then we'll go ahead and get started planning so here is the pot with the um super tunia bordeaux it really is doing good in here but i just don't like it right here i I don't know if it's going to compete. This is the Stella Diora Daylily. I'm not sure what's going on with my leaves either. Um, but it is starting to get some blooms. I know I saw some while I was pulling it back. Um, they are starting to get some blooms. And I really love this um, plant. And it's a perennial. And it comes back. And it just produced some very nice um, yellow blooms. But I don't know why some of the leaves are yellowing i'll have to look into that but anyway um let i'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and so i'm planting the annuals over here right now all that's in here is perennials and um what i plan on doing is putting two of the darker pink super tunias on the end the super tunia vista bubblegum and the super tunia bordeaux i'm going to put those in the middle and the lemon coral sedum i think i'm going to put like right in the front um i have to look at their tag really quick again because i don't want to plant them too close i did a video on that and i'll make sure i link it but um so they'll basically just be like right in the front and grow so let me go ahead and kind of what i like to do is kind of lay things out lay the pots out and take a look back and see if I like the color combination if I like the placement and then um, we'll go ahead and get started okay so we are back um, my husband decided to weed eat some areas and put grass um, in my flower bed but um, I think I have it space right I hope it is um, the lemon coral sedum i think the max was 12 inches but the super tunia um the super tunia series those were about 18 inches 12 to 18 inches apart i do want them to be full but i don't want them to compete so i am going to get these planted up now let me show you what i am going to use in the holes that i dig i have some um proven winners continuous release food that I'm going to put down and mix up and I also have some worm casting so hold on just a second because I know I brought it around here let me go find it now in addition to the slow release plant food um, that I'm going to put in the um, holes I also have the um, proven winner like the liquid um, the liquid fertilizer I think it says every three waterings you um, feed it with the fertilizer but that's on the inside it comes in a bucket and so about uh, probably once a week I'll probably need to feed it um, with the liquid fertilizer and then I'm also going to put some Espoma earthworm castings um, in the hole and mix that all around and hopefully it will be off to a very good start so let me go ahead and get it planted because I don't want dark to fall on me um, again so I am going to go ahead and plant these and 
we'll come back and let you see how it looks and then we'll water it in i think right here since these are all plants i'm gonna go ahead normally i put just the compost on top but i think for this and the rose um, garden area i'm gonna go ahead and um, put some actual mulch on top i'll probably go get some bags of mulch and put the mulch in and that will help it not only with the weeds but it'll also help hold the moisture so that we don't have to water it as much um this zone right here is on a sprinkler system and i like to go ahead and order um water it you know like in the morning so to give the leaves and everything time to dry out because it gets very humid here in coastal georgia which is susceptible a lot of plants here are susceptible to diseases because of the humidity so let me get everything planted up before it gets dark and i'll be right back okay y'all so this is what we have here i tell you i was out here just in my own world taking my own sweet time listening to music and i'm like it's about to be dark and you are filming so um i have everything planted and um i hope i have them spaced well enough apart but good enough so that it will be nice and full you know right in this area and then maybe these um two plants that are on the end if you can see right there maybe they'll fill in um i don't know i may need to add something right here and um over here but i do like the way it turned out and what i am going to do is um go ahead and water it and then like i said i always put black cow right here i always put that on top um so that it can kind of slowly release down into the soil and add some nice nutrients this is the bordeaux like i said that we had from the pumpkin planter so um hopefully the super tunia vista bubble gum and the super tunia vista i, ha I got two that's why it's hard for me to kind of remember because I got two different ones for another planter, but this is the Super Tunia Vista Paradise. So hopefully they will catch up with the Bordeaux and be, re I want this area um, to be a showstopper like last year. We planted um, Vincas, Vincas in here and it really filled in beautifully and it was different colors, kind of like a tri-color from your dark pink to your light pink to your white. So, um, we have some buds coming up right here and then i need to get in here and kind of deadhead these dianthus and i'm hoping that the ivy um this area is not too hot for it and i'm hoping that it'll go ahead and climb up the trellis one of my um lavender to me is doing better than the other one this one is doing really really good and I have to get in and deadhead these two, but I'm hoping they'll get a little bigger, kind of like a poof on each end. And so that is it. I have a clematis. I planted some clematis right here, but only two have came up. They were purple and pink. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But let me go ahead and finish up because it's getting dark as always. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you like this video. And I hope you share this video with your family and your friends. And if you're not a subscriber, we will absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. So make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a video. Again, thank you so, so much for watching. And until the next video, bye-bye.